What's up YouTube? It's Shannon and I am back today because I want to give you the newest feature for editing Instagram Reels that Instagram just dropped this week. And guys, it's a game changer. So let's get started. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I'm Shannon and I love helping small business owners and creative entrepreneurs use social media to not only create conversions, but build a community and make an impact. So this week, Instagram just made reels that much easier. And if you are creating reels already for your business, drop a comment below because I want to hear if you started, if you haven't started, if you've kind of gone in there, but you, you're, you're still nervous and you just don't know what to do and you still feel uncomfortable. Let me know how you feel about reels because they've been out for over a year now and Instagram is really making the turn towards short video, video, video. But this week, this is what they dropped as an editing tool within the Instagram app. The newest feature that Instagram released is called templates. And if you go to your explore page, just open up your Instagram app, hit the search icon and you want to hit explore. And in the top right hand corner, you're going to see reels. Click on reels and that puts you on the reels tab. Alternatively, you can also hit the reels video icon button at the very bottom and that too will put you on the reels tab. So what happens is you're going to go through the tab and you're going to see all of these reels and you're going to see reels that are what they are serving you because everybody gets a different and unique Instagram user experience because the algorithm is all based off of the interactions and the things that you look at and read and stay on and that's the content they're going to serve you. So everybody's going to get more. Okay, so this is, is an example of an Instagram template. Do you see in the very bottom left hand corner you got the screen name, the handle, below you have the first line of the caption and the song, but above the handle you have use template. So this is a really pretty song and it's not trending yet, but you can click use template. And what happens is Instagram already has the slots for each individual section put into play for you. So you don't have to trim the clips or anything. You just need to upload them and then move them accordingly. So let's see how that looks. Also, in case you're not aware, if you hit the top right hand button, see it's already lit up, but in white, that means you can select multiple clips at the same time. So I already have a bunch of videos. You can do this for videos. You can also do this for still photos as well. You just want to make sure that the still photo isn't on as long. Like nobody wants to look at a still photo for five seconds, but we're going to go down. I have some videos from Martha's Vineyard and I'm going to add these videos. And as you can see at the very bottom, the app is automatically putting the videos into the sections that are needed. So now that Instagram has filtered all the clips that you picked, and like I said, you can do a mix of videos and still photos and down there and in the, according to their time slots, you can hit next. You can see the video play out with the template. Now, what if you do not like the certain section of the video, right? All you have to do is click on that particular clip and then you can move the video around so you can actually see which part that you want to use, which is also. So we're going to keep that as is. I think it looks really good. I am happy. It goes with the music. It is a beautiful video of Martha's Vineyard and the Harborview Hotel. I picked it because this is where I'm going this weekend and I am really excited to get back. It's a great hotel. I love working with them. This is going to make your life so much easier. All you have to do is pick the song and upload the clips. Now, let me tell you, so maybe you're going through the Reels tab and you don't love any of the songs and you're not finding a template that you like love or you're finding templates to songs and you're just kind of like, eh. What if there's a trending audio that you actually want to use? How can you use a template for that? Well, let me show you. I am on a trending song and you can tell that it's trending because the arrow is down to the left of Lizzo. If you want to see more information about how to find, use, save audio and trending audio, you can check out this video right here. It gives you a huge breakdown step by step on how to do all of those things. But here is a trending song. So we're going to click on this trending song and then I want you to start on the first video, right? And you're going to just keep scrolling through until you see that little use template come up. So as this gets more and more popular, so here it is. So 
I went, I was like, I like the song. I want to use a, um, I want to use a template. So you go to the songs page, you start scrolling through the videos and you're going to see a used template and there you go. I think that as this gets more and more popular, that there will be more and more and more videos that you will see used template. But right now, this is the workaround for if you don't come across a used template in your Reels tab, you just go straight to the song and filter through the videos until you find one to use. Okay guys, I hope this helps. And if you start making Reels by using the templates, drop me a comment and let me know below. Also tag me over on Instagram at Shannon M. Shipman. You can see the name right here because I want to see all of the things that you create and I know this is going to make your life so much easier and cut so much time. So I hope you have fun creating. Get back at it and I'll see you next Thursday at 9 a.m. And before you go, make sure you give that little subscribe button a love tap. And also, like I said, if you want to see more trending audios or how to even use audio, go over to this video here and I will see you over there. Bye guys.